So this is our today agenda. And first, I will introduce the LTE overview. Have an LTE overview and have a channel in LTE and have random access procedure and scheduling. And this is our online. First, we will introduce. Uh, we will have a LTE overview, and then have a channel in LTE and have a cell search procedure and system information. And after that, we have a random access procedure. And we also have a opening scheduling and downing scheduling. And the end, we have a overview for protein OIUE. So the first is LTE overview. So what is LTE? LTE, the full name is long term evolution. So uh, LTE is a wireless data communication technology standard. And uh, we always talk, uh, sometimes we will say it is 4G. But it exactly is a uh, 3.9. The 4G we call is LTE Advanced. And this is the correct characteristic. And they have a high data rate, uh, peak down speed up to the 300, uh, 300 megabits per second. And the uh, uh, this is for downlink, and uplink will have uh, 75 megabits per second, and have a low network latency. And small, uh, small IP packet can have a less than 5 milliseconds delay on, under optimal conditions. And also we, have to, we, ha we can save the electronic, and downlink we use all FDMA, and up Upload we use the uh, SCFDMA, and we can we also have the uh, we can support the uh, MBSFN. What is an MBSFN? It means multicast broadcast signal frequency network, and we also support the uh, uh, frequency dimension duplex and timing dimension duplex. And in Taiwan, we support the uh, for the uh, FDD part. And our introduction for each layer. For RC, this is uh, this function, uh, this main purpose to connect the radio resource of control plan and user plan. So for example, you have a configuration for PDCP, RLC, and make layers. And in the PDCP, the main function is data transmit in control plan and user plan. And in control plan, they can transmit the command from RC from here and implement the relative configuration from RC. And in the user plan, it receives the IP data from upper layer from here and the package IP data into a packet and uh, transmit to the RLC. And you also make sure that the order of package from upper layer is correct and not repeat in the reconstruction. So in RLC, the main function is make sure that the package order and remove the duplicate package and retransmit. And here we will have a TMAM and UM model handling. And what is TM? Uh, TM means the information doesn't need to be repackaged in the RLC layer. And what is AM? AM is acknowledge mode and UM is on acknowledge mode. And what is the difference between that? Uh, the, uh, the difference between that is whether it will support ARQ or not. So, in, in acknowledge mode, um, it can support the ARQ function. And it can make need to, uh, make need to, re, uh, make need to receive the PDU from L RLC and have a, uh, have an egg or neck to the to the RLC there. 
and if there if the if the RLC doesn't receive egg or nick, you have to retransmit again. So uh, in make layer, the main function of the make layer is to perform the RA management for different radio barriers, including uh, MC, uh, including modulation and coding scheme or resource block and channel control element and also have a multi multiplexing and a HRQ. And in the final is the physical layer. And the main function is trans transport channel error detecting and have a synchronization and also have a HRQ egg and has some scheduling request. And this is the LTE general reference structure. And you can see in one frame they will have a tensor frames. And in the ten uh, in the one sub frame it have a two slot. And in two slot uh, in one slot we have six or seven OFDM symbols. And what in a, what is difference between six OFD six symbols and or seven symbols? Uh, it, you can see the picture here. The six OFDM symbol have a short cycling prefix, and seven symbol have a. I put it wrong. Uh, for the six symbols, we have a long cycling prefix, and the seven have a shortest cycling prefix. And yeah. And what is the uh where we, uh why we need the cycling prefix? I think uh the distinct uh the advantage is to as uh, your main. Uh, to augment the inter ISI. ISI means inter symbol interface. So, um, but if you have a long, long extent CP, you can know you you will have a shorter, shorter time to transmit the sim symbol. So they will have a advantage and disadvantage. <coughs> Okay, thank you. Before I present about my part, uh, I will introduce myself first. My name is Asif Aliza Bhutami. You can call me Ali. I'm from Indonesia. And here I will uh, present about channel in LTE. There are uh, several parts of channel in LTE. The first is... What? You want to... to okay. The first is... Uh, I will introduce about what is LTE Mac layer and Mac architecture and why channel is important and why channel is needed in this part and and the last I will introduce about LTE channel mapping we are going to the first slide this is a LTE make layer uh, as you can see here sorry Okay, let's start. Uh, there are two control, uh, two plane, uh, user plane and control plane. As Tina mentioned before, uh, you can see here user plane and this is a control plane. Uh, there is a little bit the difference between the user plane and control plane. The first, I want to tell to you about what is the difference between the user and control plane. User plane using to transmit like a voice and data, and control plane is using for transmitting a signal in data. Like if you want to. Uh, if you want to connect to the network, you will transmit the control plane. Uh, the main concept is like the, this one, but actually it is very, very advanced, advanced concept. Uh, I just explained about the simple one. And you, there is like a UE part and E not B. E not B is like a base transceiver station uh, to transmit and to receive a data from the UE. And if you uh, if you transmit your data from the UE to Inode B called uplink, and if you receive a data from Inode B, 
if you are a UE, if you are a UE, UE part UE like a uh, user equipment like a uh, phone, and you know like a PlayStation, and if you friends, and if you receive a data from the Inode means that you get a downlink data. And uh, in the network of LTE, there are like a uh, UE and Inode, and actually this part, this is uh, EPC, is uh, is in this part actually. So I put a circle here. So it means that in uh, there, there is a difference like a user plane and control plane and for the control plane is directly go to the EPC and also in user plane it will directly go to the EPC but uh, the picture is uh, like a little space here so I put a circle here means that this circle will go to this part so it's totally same I just I just separate the plane like a control plane and user plane if you want to know the the original figure the figure is like uh, in user plane and control plane, like there is uh, a connection here and connection here and connection here and directly go to the EPC. Yes? Like you, you mean in this part there is a uh, in, in user plane? Yeah. What? Yeah. In user plane, we also have like this one, yes? Oh, you, you mean that in user plane there is no RRC? Yes, yes. Oh. Oh, control. Oh, okay. Uh, maybe I will check later. I, I think, uh, like, like this part. Okay. Okay, I forget. In this part, there is like uh, no. Uh, and yes, I get from the PDF, and there is there is one of the channel need not is not needed in this part. I think uh, in the user plane, it not uh, the RRC is not used. Yes. Thank you for the correction. Uh, I remember to I forget to put it. And after in EBC, so uh, in in the big in the last of the presentation, I will tell to you about uh, the tutorial that we already done. Uh, in this part, there is like a S1 interface. This is a S1 interface because uh, from the E not B, it directly go to the EPC. EPC is like a, a center. So your database is maybe like in here. And we're going to the next. Okay, this is the. Okay. <laughs> if you think my explanation is too fast, uh, please interrupt me. Okay. Okay, we are going to the Mac architecture. You try is evolve uh, UMTS terrestrial radio access. Yes, as I remember, it's like that. The abbreviation and defines two Mac entities. The first is one of the UE and one of the EU tran U tran and and means network and the mag layer is composed of the first is a uh, HARQ entity the second is multiplexing and demultiplexing entity and a logical channel prioritization entity and a control entity uh, I will tell to you about the first HARQ entity the HARQ entity is used to to transmit, uh, yeah, transmit a uh, and non acknowledgement, yes, and acknowledgement, if it is needed, and transmit and receive a transport block because uh, the HRQ is in the transport transport. So this is the upper layer and this is the lower layer. So this is this part is make, yes. And then multiplexing is and the multiplexing, as you know, that multiplexing will uh, several channel like uh, several lines will sorry one line will go to the several lines, and for the demultiplexing means that uh, several lines go to the one line. The concept is like this one. So uh, the multiplexing you can see here there is like uh, 
sum of the several line will go to the first line. It means that they multiplexing. And then the logical channel priority is used to transmit the first is logical channel will in will instruct the multiplexing and the multiplexing to transmit. Uh, sorry, not to transmit, not to change the service data unit to protocol data unit. So this is the function of the logical channel prioritization. This is in your uplink only. And so on. And why channel is needed in LTE? Actually, there is like uh, several data and several uh, several variety of the data. So uh, it is need um, a channel and then it is need a different channel in this part. So that's why a channel is needed in LTE. So as you can see in this explanation, in order that data can be transported across the LTE radio interface, because in LTE radio interface, uh, there is some a different uh, channel and a very variety type of data will be transported across the radio access network. So uh, later you will see there are a lot of uh, channel in uplink parts and in downlink parts. And I, I think I will only explain in the uplink parts because my partner will explain in the downlink parts. And then in a mapping channel here you can see there are three parts. The first is physical channel and transport channel and logical channel. And you can see the description of the channel in each part. The first is physical channel. Physical channel is here. So it, this, uh, in the layer, the physical channel is the lower layer, the lowest one. So every single word here needed a P, 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 and P, P. It means that physical. So physical random message channel and physical uplink share channel, physical uplink control channel, and so forth. In uplink part, I will ex I will only explain in this part because my partner Anikita will explain the downlink parts. So in uplink parts, you can see only a little bit difference. Like this part in uplink parts only has a few channel. If we compare with with the channel in downlink part, and some of the channel in the uplink part is use in downlink parts like you can see cc cch mean ccch mean common control channel and dcch mean dedicated control channel and dtch mean dedicated traffic traffic channel so in the logical channel there are two parts the first part is control channel and the second part is traffic channel and the traffic channel will transmit like a data and a voice and for the control channel for the signaling and in the transport channel uh, <coughs> yes the transport channel this is uh, the channel between uh, okay this 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 part is for the physical and this is for the mac layer so mac layer is like it here yes okay and then uh, for the transport channel, the physical layer transport channel over information transfer to medium access control and higher layer. So uh, the transport channel here and make layer here. Okay. okay, I think this is Nikita's part. Thank you. Hello, my name is Nikita, and I will, uh, as uh, Ali mentioned before, I will quickly go through the uh, function of the downlink channel. And we can see the logical channel, we have the PCCH, PCCH, blah, 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 to the MCCH. And here, PCCH is for paging, and the BCCH is for the MIP and SIP. And the BCCH, it will, BCCH, and the BCCH, it will mapping to the BCH and BCCH, 
and DCCHL mapping to the DL downlink share channel. And uh, in the transport channel, I want to mention about the PCH. PCH is for paging, and the uh, physical channel, I will mention the PDSCH. PDSCH is used for data, and the PDCCH is the most important. You will transmit a DCI, and I will introduce it in the later slide. And the uh, PHICH, uh, you will P P S I P A P H I C H you will transmit the uh, egg and neck and the P C F P C F I C H you will detect the P D C H of the D C I. Okay.